This year is one year away from the 25th, okay? So, I hate to say this year in advance, but you must be really excited about the 25th year. I mean, you've got to have some secret plans afoot. There's got to be something that you're, well, that you're, if, for, that you're getting ready. Like, certain people will, you know, ex lizards will play ball with you, as you know. Yeah, so yeah. Like, you know, who am I telling? Like, but like... Uh, Certain ones will play, mm -hmm. right, and there'll be no problem. It's other ones that will be, you know, it, like mm -hmm. we have two choices next year. We either go to back to Vicar Street, where we've been many times mm -hmm. before, right? It's a lovely venue, and or we go to the O2. Mm -hmm. But if we go to the O2, we need Gary, mm -hmm. and we need everybody. Right? Yeah, I think we need a bit more than that. And, and you need the guys out of Metallica, and you need head, yeah. you know, you need what do you call them that. Huey Lewis. Huey Lewis, you need him, right? <laughs> you know, when the, when the first year happened, yeah. you've obviously done that, you're a friend of Philip. The first year was like a one-year mind, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, I can remember Jim Fitzpatrick was there, mm -hmm. Brian Downey was there, mm -hmm. Eric was there, mm -hmm. Philip Chevron was there. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Right? And, you know, Dosh Nagel, mm -hmm. right? And it was just a group of people got together, right? And it was in a pub, mm -hmm. right? And it was more like sort of, we just sat around telling stories, a few people told stories, a bit of poetry mm -hmm. and acoustic guitars. Mm -hmm. And it was just a get together, one mm -hmm. year mind, right? Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And we all had a lovely night. Mm -hmm. So then the next year we did it again. So why don't we do it next year? And we did a second year. And it was, wasn't until after that, and the third year, somebody said, why don't we get a, why don't we get a back line in? Mm -hmm. So it was all records, yeah, yeah, yeah. a bit of video, like yeah, 12 yeah. few videos, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And video machines were very hard to get then. Yeah, yeah. You had to have this big yoke that you yeah. carried up the stairs, you know, with the three yeah, yeah, on, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Frank Quigley gave us of us. And we shot a few videos, and a bit of poetry, a bit of acoustic music, and storytelling, mm -hmm. right? Then next year, someone said, when do you, when do you get, a, get a few amps in? So we got a back line in for sides, mm -hmm. right? And that was a nice one. Mm -hmm. like I think uh, Elvis Costello should turn up for that. And so did uh, Adam Clayton. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe even Sinead, right? Like just socially. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, right? yeah, 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 yeah. No, no intention of playing, right? And we had a few bands and it was grand. Then the next year I had the new inn, which was my, you know, my own venue. Mm -hmm. and a good PA in there. And that was the first real one. Mm -hmm. And that's the first one Philomena came to. Mm -hmm. Because before that she was, you mm -hmm. know, she was lying on a couch at home, mm -hmm. taking pills and drinking too much, mm -hmm. right? Because she was just devastated. Mm -hmm. And it was Jim Fitzpatrick who told her, because mm -hmm. he'd been at the mall, mm -hmm. he'd been at the first three, and he said, "You got to come." Mm -hmm. So he and she, we didn't even know she was coming. Mm -hmm. She just arrived in the new inn, mm -hmm. right? The rain and the rain was coming through the roof, right? There was a soft roof, and the rain was coming through the roof. We had to have buckets around the place, and you had to walk through a laneway. Well, your man kept a big Alsatian dog, yeah. and it was full of shite. You were still was <laughs> and the non bleeding dog, right? But it was a, it was, it was a, you know, like it's most, like the best rock and roll gigs, yeah. right? It was dirty, it yeah. was grimy, yeah. it was all black, yeah. <laughs> and it, you know they made the best. But it worked. So it worked, right? Yeah. And then the next year after that, we did a fifth in the Olympia. Um, I've noticed on the bill tonight. Well, I've not, I've noticed nearly every year. Uh, I've been away a lot, so I I've only been to about five or six of these things and stuff like that. And I just, I've noticed each year, you know, bands get younger and stuff like that. And like, the, you know, people, you know, who weren't even born or they weren't even thought of, you know, when Philip died. You know, so there's something about, there's something, uh, 
magical about him, like that they hear about him, you know, they, you know, he's, he's legendary. He's, he's obviously some kind of heroic figure to them. But they're getting younger and younger. Did you find that every year there's somebody coming I've in? I've had. I think the youngest guy we had was eight, <laughs> right? Yeah. In up in the, what was the main fiddler, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. It was about that size, right? Uh-huh. And then we had an 11-year-old uh-huh. uh, saxophone player another year, right? Uh-huh. And we've had some very young bands. Uh-huh. There's a young guy, there's a guy coming tonight, uh, God, I can't remember his name now, right? But he's a, he was a little whiz kid. Uh-huh. We were always we were always slagging him for for showing off, you know, uh-huh. like, rrr, 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 oh, yeah. know, like the Gary Moore thing. Yeah, right? yeah. And he used to give it all that flash, right? little bastard. Yeah, you know what I mean. But he but he turned out to be a really serious musician later when uh-huh. he grew up, right? And now he's uh, in his twenties. Mm-hmm. But he played the vibe when he was ten or twelve, right? Mm-hmm. And to be honest with you, like. The Viper Fellow is a variety show, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. It, it is, I'd be honest, yeah. because you can't have rock and roll band after rock and roll band after rock and roll band, mm-hmm. right? You need your tributes, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. doing it, you know, no perfect, right? Yeah, yeah, and not yeah. every tribute does yeah, it knows yeah. perfect. Yeah. So we go sort of electric, acoustic, electric, acoustic, electric, acoustic, or electric, semi-acoustic. Mm-hmm, and if mm-hmm. we don't have a, if we get any problems, we just show a video yeah, of yeah. the man himself. Yeah, and yeah. everybody loves that. Yeah. You know, they'll probably... If in doubt, show fellow. Yeah, well, no, but everybody loves to watch the fellows, mm-hmm. even if they've seen it 10 times before. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm sure Old Town will get played tonight. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And Clan Ada will get played. And these are the things, everybody is singing out with it. Yeah, right? yeah. But as I said to you before, I think, really think, that he only works on the 40th January. Mm. Philomena was trying to get me for years to change it to his birthday in mm. August. Yeah, right? yeah. And I thought about it, mm. right? And I said, no, right? Because there's too much going on in, in this summer. Yeah. There's festival after festival after festival. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? When he walked on that stage, yeah, yeah. it was an act, right? A great yeah. act. Yeah. But when he walked off, because you grew up uh, with him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you, like you and him were like brothers. You and him uh, and, and Brian, right? Yeah. Like you, tr- you were like you weren't talking about. Sure, rock and but roll. you know, one of the things which is very hard to tell young musicians today is like that. If Philip played, <clears throat> whether he played in Slattery's, or he sat down with an acoustic guitar, he was always on show. Do you know what I mean? He never sort of, oh, I'm only playing an acoustic set. He gave it everything, whether it was like out there with the band and he had the split legs and the guitar like that. And if he started to do an acoustic set, he kept you quiet, you know what I mean? And he knew how to deliver that kind of thing and just take you in, you know? So he's like, he was... He was charisma. Like a, yeah, he was charisma and a Now they call it the X Factor. Yeah. <laughs> but it's charisma. Uh, yeah. yeah, and yeah. it's... Uh, showman. Yeah, showman, yeah, yeah, it was a showman. But he also had the talent to back it up. Yeah. And Some it people was, are all show. And also, it was the songs, yeah, yeah. right? Because yeah. I don't think that if, if the songs... If the legacy of the music mm. was not as strong as it was, mm. you could, I could be breaking my ass, sure. putting on a tribute, oh. and it wouldn't work. Well, it wouldn't have lasted 24 it years. Wouldn't. And somebody remarked to me the other night, some foreign people who were here for the, because people come from mm. all over, right, mm. for this, but they remarked to me that it's one of the longest tributes mm-hmm. running, because mm-hmm. right? most of these things fizzle out. Of course, of course. After yeah. a, even the Elvis thing is fizzled yeah, out. Yeah, right? yeah. There was even an Elvis convention here yeah. once a month. Yeah. Now they're broken up. Yeah, right? yeah. So it doesn't, like there's no really annual uh, yeah. Queen festival. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. You know, like, a, yeah, yeah. like Freddie Mercury, right? Uh-huh. And the Elvis thing is, you know, well, mm. it's probably still there, mm. but it's not a big event, mm. right? And, but it's because it's Dublin, mm. right? Mm. I don't think you could do this anywhere else. Mm. I think it has to be Dublin. Mm-hmm. It's small right. enough town to do it in, and he was, yeah. and he was a big enough character. Yeah, yeah, and and of course the songs because you can go, you can go from and I know the rock, the or you can go to romantic songs like Sarah or something like that. So you can do anything. You know what I mean? I've been he, doing gigs yeah. all my life, right? Mm-hmm. Since back to the Gogo. Mm-hmm. So this is my town, mm-hmm. and you know, there's nobody I don't know. It's your town. It's my town. It's your town. <laughs> <laughs> so don't mess with me, brother. <laughs> and you got the hat to prove it, huh? And um, we're we're trying to shoot a. Um, a documentary on Phil, uh, on Philip, but you know on Philip, and, and we're trying to get some um, memories together, and uh, we want to talk to some of the younger bands tonight, you know, and see how like they, you know, what what their feelings are about it, and how they became to be influenced by him. And I just want to thank you, Smiley, first of all for putting this on, and second of all for talking to us. Uh, and <laughs> I'm sure we could talk for days and weeks. My my thank re- you very much. My reward yeah. is when people get up here yeah. and make me proud. Yeah, yeah. Right, because. I know Philip and you know Philip, mm-hmm. right? And he was 
fucking he had a standard, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. He only played with the best. Mm -hmm. Even when he didn't have, when he came to Dublin yeah. and he was playing improv gigs mm. in, down at Morris Hotel, mm -hmm. he'd get Jimmy Faulkner. He'd mm -hmm. get mm -hmm. he'd get serious musicians. Yeah, of course, right? yeah, 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 local guys. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. And we'd all put a gig together and we'd make loads of money. Yeah. <laughs> if we only we could we still do that. We wouldn't Chris and Chris about it either. <laughs> okay, this is your town, Smiley. Okay, good. <laughs> See this? Yeah. A few years ago, I got a present of this thing on a pair of underpants. Yeah. I can't take them seriously. I don't know who to give them to. I can't wear them myself because no, I can't small. see his head they're on me. Yeah. Well, they're too small. We have baseball hats. We have hats. Baseball hats. We've got woolly hats. We have the buckles and belts. It's our logo. Who's on, who's on first, by the way? What's the name of your band? So how did you hear about Philip? Philip? Yeah. Jeez, I think if you're Irish, you're gonna, everyone, you walk down Grafton Street, you see the statue, everyone kind of, you know, the name's anonymous there. How many uh, Lizzie songs are you doing tonight? Uh, we're doing, what's it, four? Uh, four. Yeah. Uh, Look at the Wind Blew In, Little Darling, and uh, Run Back, the yeah. team. So yeah. It's funny you're doing uh, Look What the Wind Blew In. Yeah, yeah. Bands don't normally take that one on. It's a tricky enough song, that's <laughs> why, yeah. We're doing a bit of a different thing now in the solo section now. We kind of yeah. we made our own solo section for it to kind of, you know. Yeah. yeah. And you, do you think he, he was like the yeah. most important of all the Irish musicians, rock musicians, whatever, up to now? Rock musicians, yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, definitely. So, so yeah. Sure, look at all this, look at uh, everything here, you know, the vibe of Philo. <laughs> 24 years gone, says oh. something. Now, what's your favourite Tennessee you song? Classic boys are back in town. I suppose. Yeah. How much your favourite yeah. one to play? Wait for an alibi. That's that's a really fun one. Yeah. That's good. Song, yeah. that's yeah. Live and dangerous. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. It's the yeah. album, yeah. Same, yeah. The same, same, album, yeah. same album. Yeah. yeah. Just Sergeant Pepper kind of thing. Still. Yeah. I take the bottle. You take the same. Yeah. Do you think he's had more influence here in Ireland than Bono or something? Like I think musician-wise, I'd say yeah. so. I think yeah. nearly every guitar yeah, player exactly. I meet yeah. will like, you know, would big up Lizzie. I've mm -hmm. noticed that all the time. Yeah. Music, guitar music in general has come back. I mean, in the last, what, few years it's come back. I remember if you could actually play your instrument back in the 90s, you were an mm -hmm. asshole. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now to be actually able to play, yeah. mm -hmm. it's back, it's cool again, you know, yeah, so. Yeah. This is the Silver Bird, Silver Bird. They're the uh, youngest band on the show tonight. They're 17 and 18. I don't know. They're all doing their leaving this year. Uh, we have had younger over the years, as I mentioned. But, uh, uh, these guys played last night the pre-ride. Mm -hmm. They were very impressive. So they went well. Everybody liked them, you know. And uh, I think it's going to be even better tonight. They're opening tonight. They were on second last night, but they're opening tonight. We just want you to enjoy it and, you know. Pull out all the stops and, uh, you know. Instead of saying like Alex Ferguson, I want to go out there and play a good game, lads. <laughs> have a good day. Have a good one. Enjoy have yourself. Have a good day. <laughs> what do you want there, lad? What does it mean to Wow, and this is the, what, the 24th? 24th, yeah, so I've been doing it since the 12th one. Yeah. And are you going to do the 25th? Absolutely, can't yeah. wait for the 25th. You think you'd be able to handle it? Oh, of course I will. The place yeah. will be jammed. Absolutely, the place absolutely. Be jammed. Well used to it by now. So, what was your favourite Thin Lizzy song? Favourite Thin Lizzy song? Oh, oh God, so many. Still in love with you. Still in love with you? Yeah. You like the romantic side of them? I like the romantic side, but I like the heavy side as well. Johnny yeah. the Fox. Yeah? yeah? Sexy bit as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Both yeah. sides. Yeah. yeah. And do you think he was a real ladies' man? Do you think like women loved him? Do you from what I can make out, absolutely. I mean, not absolutely. from what you can make out, you know. But well, I never met the guy. I know, but you know what, what do you mean? think but looking yes. at him? Would you think oh, he's beautiful? He's gorgeous looking man. Yeah. Gorgeous looking man, yeah. No, yeah. with a real charm and yeah, yeah. presence about him. Definitely. Yeah. Wish I had met him. Yeah? Mm. Wow. Okay. We're here live at the Viper Philo live 2010 live. 
uh, yeah, we're all here to see one of the best bands that ever took to the stage, you know. 24 years on, I'm 24 now, you know, and I've been to a few of the vibes. I love it. I think it's brilliant. You know, such a... Uh, I can't describe the feeling. They're just true rockers, true and true, you know. How did I come across? Growing up as a child, you know, when I was growing up in my teens, got turned on to them by a friend of mine, Brian Mitchell. He showed me a CD. And ever since then, you know, live and dangerous. You know, a bit cliche, but, <laughs> you know, got in... Got, in, got into the other stuff, you know, Nightlife, favourite album, a little bit different from the other stuff, but love it, oh, love it all. Yeah, I've been coming since I was 17, but don't tell anybody. Um, my, my dad's been to every single one of them, so he kind of got brainwashed me and got me into it, you know. But ready, but he gets better every year, so. Can I always hear the king's call? Had every one of them. I had every one of them, all the boys. Yeah. Even from the very beginning, like, really. I'm missing one. Are you? So, 16. When did you get that done? The time of the. Uh the statue unveiling. Just be two days before the statue unveiling. Yeah. That's when I got it done. So you're a long time fan? Oh, a long time fan, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very, uh, from a uh, very young age. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, uh, I've got... Uh, tattoo artist by the name of Joe Myler in Waterford. Waterford, yeah. Waterford, yeah. Okay, we'll see when we get down. I have the black rose done up here. Yeah? yeah. Do you want the another one? And Lemmy. I'm just going to ask you some questions. Okay. Okay. So tell me, what, when did uh, are you ready, Shay? When did you first hear Thin Lizzy? I think uh, I was three years old. Three years yeah, old. Yeah, because my, my father played the guitar to me. Your father? Just to fall asleep every day. And he'd sing a Thin Lizzy song? Yeah. As lullabies? Yeah. Wake up to sleep? Yes. What was your favourite one? Whiskey in the jar. Whiskey in the jar? Yeah. Did they give you whiskey to go to sleep as well? No, 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 no. Just no, the music. No. I thought, did you, do you come here every year? No, it's my second time here. Second year, yeah. yeah. Oh, good. good. Do you have a, what's your favorite Tim Lizzy record, album? Uh, Bag of Bones. Of Bag of Bones to Western World. World. And maybe Jailbreak. Jailbreak? Yeah. I really love Bag of Bones to Western World. Yeah, I think it's the best. One. Incredible, yeah. yeah. Yes. Great record. I don't want to tell a little bit of Wendell Williams. Now, Swanee gave us a little bit of that artistic merit on this song, so we decided that. We're going to do a little bit of a different solo section. Anyway, we hope he's like it.